Our exhibition this year uh, is about the Jazz Age and fashions of the Jazz Age. So we're showing a range of different outfits that women would have worn during the 1920s. So our main galleries will have a display of different outfits that were worn by women in the 1920s throughout the decade. In addition to that, we have um, some beautiful, beautiful photographs by James Abbe. He was an American photographer and he photographed American celebrities of the 1920s. As I was curating the show, the thing that really struck me was the movement that's inherent in clothes in the 1920s. Even though they're static now, you get a sense that they were made to move. That is the point of the 20s. It's a decade of continual movement, of change. Even a beaded dress, if you're just holding it, not even wearing it, you get the sense of the weight, and it's a continual shift between the fabric and the beads. And the shape of the 20s that we associate with most closely is the tubular, drop-waisted dress associated with flappers mainly. And fashion had changed. Fashion was moving before the war. It was a less curvy silhouette. It was much more streamlined. So everything was about a youthful figure. It wasn't about being boyish, but it was being young and gamin and active. Alongside the sleek and modern silhouettes you get of the drop-waisted dresses and the drop uh, tubular shapes is this idea of kind of romanticized femininity. So there's a whole group of fabulous dresses and you can see them behind me that are really feminine, they're romantic, they're tiers of ruffles and they're made in organza with lovely embroidery and cutwork. And you get that real sense, particularly in the early 20s, of this almost romanticized or overtly feminine um, ideal of dressing. And it's interesting if you read F. Scott Fitzgerald, his heroines all dressed that way, they were in acres of organza. So they had this incredibly sweet exterior, which was not usually matched by their devious interior. So of course, no exhibition about the Jazz Age at the American Museum would be complete without inclusion of Beatrice Pratt, uh, the mother of one of our founders. So Dallas Pratt, who founded the American Museum. His mother, Beatrice Pratt, was very much a socialite of, of the time. She was a fashionista, definitely setting trends. The newspapers followed Beatrice around, taking photographs of her to see what outrageous outfit she would be wearing next. And she employed a professional um, agency to take the clippings and uh, compile them in scrapbooks. So we've got scrapbooks on display, as well as a few pieces um, that belonged to her. I love this exhibition. Every time I come in here, I have a different favorite piece. Um, it was a real joy installing and working with the team at the Fashion and Textile Museum. As we put the show together, it's really about breaking the stereotype of just a flapper in a knee-length dress, but exploring all the options that women had in the invention of 20th century dressing. Mm -hmm.